Friday, August 17th, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, what you're looking at is a video loop I took last night, yesterday evening on the 16th, at around 7.15 p.m. This is now Hurricane Lane, but the reason I took this video was because I could see it was going through a phase of what's known as rapid intensification. And this looks like a textbook, very powerful hurricane in the making. This area um, in the East Pacific is known to produce, in fact, it has produced a world record hurricane, and I'll get to that here in a minute. But what we're looking at now, this is the current weather situation in the East Pacific with regard to the highs and lows. The low pressures are where the storms are always at. The high pressures are the nice weather. Hawaii is known for its nice weather. It's one of the most beautiful places on Earth because of the high pressure ridge that's usually always parked in place. Well, you've got this low pressure, which is the hurricane. It's now a Category 2 uh, hurricane lane. In fact, let's take a look at it real quick on the map. Let's just see where it's at. That's the storm over in the West Pacific. This is uh, Typhoon Solik, and it's due to make landfall in about four days in southern Japan as a strong cat too. Here is Hurricane Lane. It is now Category 2, working its way to a Category 3 very quickly. This might very well easily be a Category 5. That's going to be an overachiever. But here's what it's doing. See the high pressure ridge here? Watch, this is the storm. It's down to, and this is in the next week, 965, 959, 957. That means it's getting stronger. The lower the central pressure, the stronger the storm. See what it does? Goes right towards the big island and then hangs a right just as it clears the big island. And as it uh, moves past, the outer bands do slightly interact with all of the islands. But here it is zoomed in. Watch the low pressure. That's Hurricane Lane. And what it's doing is wrestling with the high pressure ridge. And it's wanting to go north, but the high pressure ridge is holding firm. See how it pushed it back? So it goes down and then up to the right. And once it clears the islands, then it does make it past the high pressure ridge. Here it is at windy.com. And I'm going to show you two different models, the GFS and the European. First, we're going to look at the GFS. This is Hurricane Lane on Sunday, Monday. Now it's a Category 3, maybe 4, quite possibly 5. Either way, it's a major hurricane at this stage. Uh, category probably 4, let's say. Now we're into Wednesday, Thursday. See how it makes a right-hand turn? Look at that. Okay, the orange is high winds. These are extremely high winds. So that would put all of the islands um, in the high wind category with probably some sort of uh, rain showers. Don't know how much, but at least some. But look at how close this model shows. And again, this is just a forecasted model. It's going to change. But right now, you know, if it changes any way to the right, it could be a direct impact. If it stays left, then it won't affect the islands at all. It would be much like Hurricane Hector. And that's what this model is suggesting. This is the European model. Watch what it shows. Almost a carbon copy of Hurricane Hector, staying well to the south a good 200 miles. If you go to Sky, this is where it would be positioned on Monday the 20th. As a Category 1 on its way to a Category 2, let's jump forward to the 21st. It's got it moving much like Hector, and this is the GFS model but it does make a slight right-hand turn, but not near as much as it shows on uh, the other models here. It shows it making a distinct right-hand turn just past the Big Island. So it'll be interesting to see. We need to keep a very close eye on this storm. I definitely see it has some DNA in it of some big, powerful storms, and it, it's going to be one of its own, but it does come from world record territory. This is where Hurricane Patricia, well, at least it's close, Hurricane Patricia was a world record hurricane in the eastern Pacific Ocean, had a central low pressure system of 872 millibars, which is unprecedented. Also, it had a recorded wind speed of 215 miles per hour. 
here's the storm. Um, I remember it. I remember watching this thing. Um, these long bands, and I remember it forming, and in fact, it did remind me of, let me show you here in just a second. This is the storm as it made landfall. And as soon as it made landfall, it uh, weakened very, very quickly. See how it goes from a high-end hurricane, in fact, a world record hurricane, as soon as it made landfall, went down to a tropical depression, did do some damage to Colima along the coast of Mexico. But here's what it looked like pre-world record storm. See these longer bands? And, and when it was rotating, it did remind me of this system right here. That's exactly what Hurricane Patricia looked like on its way to becoming a world record storm. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm not saying that this one's going to be a world record, but I think it's going to be in a league up there with a, a very strong major hurricane. So we need to keep a close eye on it because according to the weather chart here at weathercharts.eu, it does want to migrate just to the left on the west-hand side of the Big Island on Friday. So we'll have to wait and see. The models are not in agreement right now. In fact, some have it staying well south, just like Hurricane Hector. Others have it coming north. So we're keeping a close eye on this right now. It's at the 12 degree uh, parallel. It's got to go up seven degrees to even come close to the Hawaiian Islands. And right now it's still got that high pressure that's keeping it pushed well to the south. But it is trying to get up in there. So we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I'll be keeping a close eye on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. Be safe out there.